My great-grandfather, Joao Fernandez, he is the man who has been credited with uh, bringing the first ukulele to the islands of Hawaii. And as the story goes, back in 1879, he left the islands of Portugal. One of the bad things about sailing on a four-month voyage across the open seas was the uh, boredom factor. Great-grandfather was pretty resourceful. He found a young Spanish family with some kids that had um, a, uh, actually a traditional Spanish instrument, a lot like a mandolin, and he started to fool around with the instrument. You know, the kid was bored with it, so he started fooling around with the instrument, and he didn't really know what he was doing, much like I don't. <laughs> He got quite a following on the ship. I got a hot rod Ford and a two dollar bill. No a spot right over the hill. So the pop and the dancing's free. So if you want to have fun, come along with me and say hey. Well, word of this got to the uh, still in office then Queen uh, Lele Ukulani, and she wanted a private showing of this new instrument. There was a sequence of private showings, as it were. Now, my great-grandpa at that point was a married man, and oftentimes after doing his royal duty of serenading Queen Lele Ukulani, would come home rather late at night. <laughs> and you may have guessed it, one time it was a little too late, uh, my great grandma took that ukulele and broke it right over his head. How's about cooking something up? How's about cooking something up?